So let me show you this real quick. Now, let's read Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1 real quick. All right, because as I was saying, we got some things up here pertaining to history, right? I love you. Right, okay, all praises. So then this shit this ain't home with you then, right? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who is Moses speaking to? Moses is speaking to all Israel, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to take a journey through history to find out what God said will happen to the children of Israel, all right? So now, give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Okay, so the children of Israel, they, they made a covenant. Well, the Most High God made a covenant with the children of Israel to be his chosen people. You're familiar with that much, right? Okay, let's read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. How you doing, my sister? What's your name? Loren. Loren? So I got Loren and Sister Justice. All right, so right now we've taken a walk through the journey with the, on the Bible with the children of Israel. And we've been learning about us and our history, right? All praise. All praise. All praise to the Most High. Listen good. All right, so read this real quick. Deuteronomy 28, 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he's, he's telling the children of Israel, listen good. If you will obey my commandments, right, all these blessings will come upon you. Right, read. To observe to do all do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the children of Israel will be set on high above all nations of the earth, the 12 tribes of Israel, right? So we're going to see what God said would happen if we did not keep his law, statutes, commands. Because we understand right now that, right, we understand right now that there is a ruling class of people in the world. Are you able to recognize that, sister? There, there is a ruling race of people in the world, right? And it ain't us. Okay, so would y'all say we on the bottom or would y'all say we on the top? We on the bottom. We on the bottom? Okay. Okay, but you okay, all praise. All praise, but right now we're at the bottom though, right? Okay, give me Deuteronomy 28 15. Let's read what God said. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so Sister Justice, you heard what you just said? He said, it will come to pass, right? If you will not hearken or don't listen to obey the law, statutes, and commandments in this Bible, that what will come upon us? Read that part again. What say? Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so curses will befall the children of Israel. Now we're going to see what these curses represent for the children of Israel. Give me verse 46. This is what the curses represent. Read. Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So what does the curses represent, Sister, Sister Justice? A sign, right? And a wonder. A sign and a wonder. That's what the curses will represent, right? Now, a sign does what? It shows you things or points you in the way to go, right? And the wonder is what? Yeah, like, what, like I wonder what it is about us that we cannot get out of the situation that we're in, right? After all the policies that have been passed in our favor, right? Out of us voting for president and president and president, but yet we still seem to be at the bottom. We get a lot of promises and things like that, but yet we still can't seem to get it together. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Okay, so the, the, the signs of the Bible are the curses of the Bible represent a sign. Okay, so now, give me the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, I want verse uh, 68 real quick. 60, oh no, 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 48. Hand and tail. Uh, you know, uh, yes sir, yes sir. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get shall get up above thee, above thee very high. So one of the signs is that the strangers, what is a stranger? 
someone that's not us, that's different, right, that's strange, or another race of people. They will get up above us very high. So I want y'all to identify who's above us very high right now. The Edomites. Or the Caucasians, okay, read. And thou shalt come down very low. You, you don't want to know how we very low? We're going to read it out the Bible. Verse 16. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. You want to know how we low? Take a look at our living conditions in the cities. Right? Every major city you go to, right, you find the children of Israel where? In the ghettos. In the ghettos. Projects. In the projects. You understand? That's not a coincidence. That's not a coincidence. You can go to Atlanta. You can go to Chicago, North Minneapolis, East St. Paul. Wherever you go to find our people, the conditions is all the same. You understand? You can go to a whole other state. We're going to read it again. You can go to a whole other state you're unfamiliar with. But if you find yourself in the ghetto, you'll feel like home to some degree. Right? Come on. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. What? Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall the children of Israel be in the city. Now, these curses help us identify who we are. Now, because guess, why is that important, Sister Justice? Why is it important for us to identify who we are? Why? You don't know, right? So, who are you? What's your nationality? Black. But you believe in this Bible, right? So what does God call you? He calls you Judah? Oh, you see the sign. Right? All praises. So now, I want you to read uh, read that from the top again. This is the sign to make sure we understand that we are the children of Israel. This is our history of the Bible. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket. So he said, cursed shall thou be in the city, right? Evidently, you can see that. Drugs, alcohol, right? You got liquor stores on every corner, single parent households. That's a curse in the city. Okay, and then he said what? Read it, read, read it from the top one more time. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou be where? In the field. Right. Tell me some history, sister. Sister Justice, you like history. Tell, tell me about it. What about slavery? Pretty much what? What about the fields? What about the fields in slavery? There you go. Cotton plantation, sugarcane plantation, tobacco plantation. That's all related to our history. Cursed in the field. Right. So now, who else is fitting this history right now that we read? Just these people on the sign, right? Right, literally. Yeah, literally. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all the way down to the top. Right, so now you ask about who? Why do you say that? People in Africa are going through it? You want to know what the people in Africa that's really going through it? Give me this real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. This is another curse. This is another curse. We're going to read about the people in Africa that's going through it real quick. Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord shall do what? Scatter thee among all people. Who is God talking to again? The Israelites. What did God say he would do to them? Scattered them across the nations. Is Africa a continent with many nations? So do you think our people are there too? Nine times out of ten, the people who catch the most sale in Africa are our people. Nation is women's support 